Hello, my name is Steve Faulkner. You're going to be watching Real Magic Review, and today I'm going to be talking about Acronym by Conjuring Lab, which is not an app. Before we go on, it's very important that I inform you or re-inform you about OnlineMagic.co by me, Stevie Faulkner, who, according to Rory Adams, I'm going to milk this for as long as I can, is the best magic teacher in the world right now. So why wouldn't you go on my membership with over 900 videos, special guests soon again, and, uh, and live sessions every week, nearly. Uh, with me, Stevie Faulkner, teaching all the stuff along with other people. So have a look at that. Uh, magic, mentalism, coins, ropes, everything. All of it's on there. So have a look. OnlineMagic.co Every four computers now have primary control. Okay, so, you know, carrying on with my thing, which I'm not just doing, by the way. I'm not just doing tech and apps and, um, and phone magic and stuff like that, but I'm doing a series of revisiting and reviewing and talking about the latest and not so latest uh, technological magic tricks. This is one of the latest ones. This is Acronym by Conjuring Lab. Uh, lots of people talking about this at Blackpool. People coming up to me going, have you seen the Wikipedia phone trick? And I was like, of course I have. It's been going for years. Wikitest. No, not that one. A different one. And this is different. The effect briefly is that you, on somebody else's phone, pretty much zero pocket space this nothing except for something to write on open wikipedia they roll an imaginary dice or a real one or a, a, a an iffy one uh they get a number openly you get them to roll again complete free choice or again if it's an imaginary one you say what number did you do you land on forget about that go into wikipedia you talk about the links on the wikipedia page they search for anything they get onto the legitimate page press a link go down a rabbit hole of links you write down all the links that they've randomly pressed on what number did you roll? It was a four. Oh, look, the fourth letter of each of those words, you highlight them and it spells out their name. Or importantly, anything, any word that you want that isn't more than probably six, seven letters. You, you don't want to go too silly with it or go on for ages and get boring. But most words, which is really powerful stuff. This is really good. So when everybody first saw it, they went, oh, that's really clever because it's got that you don't know what's going to happen. And I made sure I didn't know what was going to happen when it was demonstrated to me. And it's a lovely feeling. That reveal, which I first saw, and I'm not saying that he was the first one to do it, but Chris Philpott, I reviewed his Crossfire book test, where you get three words, you don't quite get the others, or four words, I can't remember, of lots of different words that people have seen. And then you go, I can't get it. And then you, you circle downwards and you spell out the last couple of words. And I'm sure it's been done in different ways and different tricks before. But this is great because it's on their phone. They have no idea where it's going. I think it even helps if they start getting a little bit bored because then you hit them. It's like the cups and balls near the end of it. Oh, and then you see the, the oranges and the melon. But that personal thing of it being that name, their name, is such a moment. And there are kind of a couple of things you've got to be aware of with this. So the first thing is it's very easy. You have got to practice if you're like me. Now... I go on someone else's phone. I've got an iPhone Pro, a big uh, Max, so I've got porky, proper porky Hobbit thumbs, right? So I have to practice doing what I've got to do. It's very easy, but I just don't want to be thinking about it. So I do that without giving too much away. Again, you're not using an app. You're going to a thing on their phone. It's you, People can watch you doing what you're doing. You may think that that's not going to happen, Ooh, excuse me, a little, little bit of windy pops there. <laughs> a little burpee, not the other one. Um, so you may think that people, but the, I've had people watching me, not a problem at all. Your tendency will be to rush, don't, all that kind of stuff. Very open. I mean, the absolute godsend is that there's this thing that you may miss if you don't read all the instructions. There aren't many. You're going to learn this very quickly. But do make sure you go through them a bit because there's a couple of little nuances that make it a lot easier. When, you, um, when you're doing what you need to do, there is a thing that tells you that you've done it right, so you can sort of get some immediate feedback. That is like gold. You really, for me, it's really, really helpful. And you've got, you know, when I was doing it, I was really, something went wrong. And it wasn't, it was audience management thing, which we will talk about in a minute. And we had to start again. And I had to type, do everything again, quite slowly. Because, you know, when you get it wrong and you've not really rehearsed it that much, you get slightly shaky fingers and you sort of, you know, not visibly, but you can feel it. 
took me ages. It took me about half an hour to open Wikipedia again. We should have, you know, they could have been there going, why is that taking them so long? But they just, they were just not there. They were just kind of, okay, waiting. And it's funny because then I did it again and it didn't make any difference. So the point I'm telling you that is that don't just take your time with it. Don't feel like, oh, they're watching, I've got to do the thing, which I think is a problem quite often with magic and especially mentalism, where the, the, the method, even though this is a complex method, it's not complex to do, it's simple to do. It's so simple that you think that you're going to get caught, so you kind of put too much work into it. It's way easier than you think, and once you've done it a couple of times, you'll realise. The versatility is important. Now, you can make it even easier by knowing the person or the word you're going to force, I suppose it is, in that acronym, where you have to do even less, so it becomes even quicker. So it's it's just not i think everybody's going to be able to perform this again you just have to practice it a bit now there have been people and i was one of them that think that when you know what you're doing you think they're going to start looking at this and thinking something's not right and there is one time i performed it very early on where someone said to me oh why is that that was because of my my um issue the the way i performed it i did it completely wrong i i skipped a bit and the, and the point is that even though it's easy it's quite easy to get things in the wrong order there is a process here and they go through it the videos are great the instructions are great you've got it all there but it's easy at the beginning to kind of get two things the wrong way around and and go down the wrong thing and it, it all becomes a bit confusing so again going back to that rehearsal thing it's really not an issue once you're in it they just not looking at the thing you think they're going to be looking it's so hard to to say it for some of you it's not going to make any sense but you'll know when you get it but the point is don't worry about it right it's fine by the time they get there it's all fine they're getting into a rhythm speaking of which going back to audience management when they're doing what they need to do on the phone you just need to make sure they don't get ahead of themselves so be really clear in the instructions again this is always important with magic but especially mentalism before you do what you're going to do tell them what you're going to do when they're listening. I'm going to write the things down. You're going to click on the link, but tell me what link is the word on the link is before you click it. Because if you're not careful, they'll click it and go forward and they might forget what the word was. And then you, so just, again, it's all about relaxing, staying with them, staying with each moment and going, right, what are you going to press now? And just get into that end. And it's a lovely feeling when you know that they've got a clue what's going on and you're just about to reveal that name. And when you reveal that name, any issues you may have about this doesn't make sense, that doesn't make sense, why would you justify this, goes completely out of the water. It is such a good response. Two people that I perform magic to have said, that is the best thing I've seen you do in ages. One of which being my daughter, when she says that, and she was like, she had to go, she's like, I'll go in a minute. Like, yeah, click another link. And then she went, oh my god she it completely changed her state it was brilliant same with kelly downstairs worked in the beauty salon at the bottom of my offices not that into magic she just kind of begrudgingly allows me to film the odd thing and when i did that she was like that's the, that's i mean i think she actually said that's the only one that's impressed me got it i've done loads of amazing stuff but there you go three four wow. five we've got kelly which how is did your you name. do that there you go that's only one what's impressed me since that's worked together. <laughs> Brilliant. Impressive. Good, isn't it? I like that. Thank you very much. And I do uh, like that. All right. So that's all you need to know, really. Easy, great. You can do it at the drop of a hat. No preparation. Anybody's phone. And you've got a wonderful piece of magic. Just completely, you know, talk about everyday carry. You haven't even got to carry it, really. Uh, and even someone else could write it on their phone. So if, if you wouldn't even have to have your phone or a bit of paper. But brilliant. let me check. I haven't. Um, it was a bit waffly, this one, wasn't it? This one, all of them. Oh, yeah. Really important. Really important. Once it's happened on the person's phone, their phone is clean. They cannot go back and kind of backtrack and say he's did it. That's really important. And what's also important at the moment. Gosh, it's all flooding back to me. This one isn't quite as exciting as I made it look like it was going to be. But it is very important at the moment it's only in french and english i'm sure that will change but you can only have the wikipedia pages in french and english which is going to be an issue for some people again iphone android all that stuff doesn't matter with this talking about versatility they've got this thing where you roll a dice you can see the dice and um, i like a real dice you know i was talking to someone the other day and it's quite nice of a real dice you do an imaginary dice that's fine then you can play with it do you want to roll it again do you want to change the number 
but you can also do it with a, a dicky dice, <laughs> which um, so you don't even have to see them roll it, and you can know the the thing. And and of course, there's loads of other ways you could reveal it. There's loads of other ways of getting that number. There's lots of other words, other personal things, things you could do linked to a company that you're working for, and it spells out the name of the company. So really, loads of versatility here. So it's not just about the name, but I do think the name is a great thing. So there you go. I'm going to go off now because this is going to go on way too long. Thanks for sending an uh, acronym to me. Thanks for allowing me to review it, Conjuring Lab. And uh, you've got a corker there. I think it's a great thing. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Cheers.